One day wearing his Vans skate shoes, which I had, and uh, kind of walks over and he's like, see, you got Vans? And I'm like, yeah, you got Vans too. He's like, cool, you want to hang out? And I'm like, well, yeah, of course. You know, we both have Vans. So uh, first time I go over to his house, I'm like, oh, it's cool, we're going to hang out. And kind of go into his room and he starts going through his record collection. He starts pulling out these really dark looking metal albums. And, you know, I'm in fifth grade at the time, so I'm not really into this. And then <laughs> looking through and there's like swords and like weird symbols. And then he gets to the one that's these guys with like blonde hair and it's teased out and they're wearing spandex and makeup. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not too sure about this. And I turn around and he's got these kind of weird looking books. And he's like, you play Dungeons and Dragons? And I'm like, yeah. and he's like, looks me dead in the eyes and he goes, I'm a wizard. <laughs> And now I'm really wondering, like, bands and all, I'm like, I'm not sure about this guy. And so uh, one thing leads to another, I'm going into junior high, and he's like, where are you thinking about going? I'm like, well, I went to summer school to go to coffee tech. He's like, no, 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 no. That's not going to work. You're coming to Wawona with me. So he talked me out of that. I went to Wawona. We ended up going to high school together. And it was in high school, I kind of realized, like, not only is he kind of a wizard, he's a wizard with, like, everyone. Like, he, he'll know everyone. He's never going to be part of your group. He's always going to be the own guy. So like, you go around campus and he's like, has to make the rounds. He's like, oh, you know, there's the metalheads and there's like the gangbangers from Parkside. He kind of knows everybody. <laughs> but one of the coolest things about Freedom is that he never like had anything bad to say about anyone, but he knew everyone's strength. Like, he walked away, he'd be like, that guy is a really good poet. That girl can play a great piano. And even the guys that were a little hard on the edge, he'd be like, that guy's going to the boxing gym. He's going to be really good. He might make the Olympics one day. Always found the good in everyone, and yet was always just himself, never part of any group. He's not going to join any club. He might know nine out of ten people in every group, but he's not going to conform to any of that. For one story in high school, we're sitting there, and this was a time when, you know, gangster rap got really big, and everyone kind of became this misogynist kind of jerk. He's sitting there one day. We're sitting there, and he's, we're talking, and he keeps looking over. He looks at me, and he goes, man, that guy, that guy doesn't treat his girlfriend very well. And this is when we're like, you know, 14, 15, I thought, this is a really good guy, you know, I'm, I'm going to be friends with this guy forever. And years later, here we are. And I think a little bit of that is a tribute to Janice over here. She has also had a pretty independent spirit. Growing up, about 30% of the time, staying at her house for another night. She was always, always making stuff. She's always like... Making your own salsa. I, you made your own Kahlua, I think. Kahlua. Yeah. <laughs> like, always independent, always doing her own thing, and I think that's attributed to what freedom is today. So, nice. thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah.